Well, I was a graduate student at Louisiana State University in my first year. And LSU had just joined OTS. And sometime in the spring, I don't know exactly when, uh, my major professor and head of the museum there, George Lowry, he and Mrs. Lowry drove a vehicle down to Costa Rica because that was going to be the contribution of LSU to uh, OTS. And he then came back after you know a, less than a month and said, you're going to OTS. And I said, what? And, and so he, he said, yes, I've arranged for you to be in the fundamentals class of OTS next summer. And so I went down in June with a graduate student from, o, uh, from LSU who was doing his thesis on wrens all around uh, Costa Rica. And so for that month, I traveled around Costa Rica with him and then took the fundamentals class. And that was a very formative experience. Uh, that's how I got there. Um, it was very happenstance, very fortuitous. But uh, it was uh, a very defining moment uh, in my intellectual career because it was a, an incredibly exciting experience to be with the people who were teaching the class. And it was a time, you know, they had the NSF grant, and so they paid us to attend. Uh, a, a nice salary for a graduate student back then, and they paid to bring all these people in, all these instructors in for just a few days in some instances, and then for weeks. And it was a very exciting experience to, uh, to be with the core faculty. And that core faculty was Dan Jansen and Norm Scott, but then there was also Larry Wolf, who had just graduated uh, from Berkeley, and Jose Saracan, who had just graduated from UNAM. And so you had all these young postdocs. Every one of them were kind of essentially postdocs. Um, Dan, I think, might have had his job at Kansas by then. But it was incredibly exciting. And uh, all of these uh, instructors, uh, their, their goal was to get the students to think, to think about questions, to ask questions. And most courses at that time that you took at universities didn't do that. You know, it was, you learn this, and, and you repeat it back to me. And it's still that way in many, many courses, to be sure, but that was a very unique course. And it was a lot of field work, and there were no field stations. Oh. <laughs> so we, we would go out and we would camp out. Uh, uh, Dan Jansen this morning showed you some of the places where we stayed. And, and it was trying times because Costa Rica was not very developed then. Um, and I remember distinctly uh, the initial lectures that we had at the University of Costa Rica on the social milieu of, of the country and the problems they had with uh, health care, mm -hmm. uh, child mortality, uh, and uh, because of water quality. And it, one of the interesting experiences from the course was that, that uh, we would go out in the field and we would come back to San Jose for a few days and then, uh, and then go back out. And every time you came back into San Jose, seemingly you get sick. And then you get stable and then you go out in the field and you get sick. So, a lot of the students in the course were at one time or another sick because of water quality. Yeah. But it was very exciting. You had to do a project uh, and that was one of the very first papers I ever published was, was an OTS uh, related paper. And uh, we went all over. And I had been to some of the places in June, but uh, the rest of the summer we went all over. And, it was very exciting uh, to be with uh, these instructors because they were just recent students themselves. 
and, but they knew an awful lot more than, than us. And, and we had some very exciting um, uh, uh, graduate students in the course, you know, people like Joel Cohen, who was at Harvard, and Bob Jenkins, who was also at Harvard, and Herb Rosenberg, and, and uh, some of us, especially those of us sort of interested in birds, and, and uh, we, 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 you know, formed a cadre a of... A network, yeah. A network, yeah, during the course. Mm -hmm.